Saint Joseph was the husband of Mary and the foster father of Jesus. Joseph is the patron saint of the dying, the universal church, families, and working people in general. His feast day is celebrated on March 19th. Joseph was a carpenter and a working man. He wasn't rich, for when he took Jesus to the temple to be circumcised and Mary to be purified, he offered the sacrifice of two turtle doves, or a pair of pigeons, allowed only for those who could not afford a lamb. When he first discovered Mary was pregnant, after they had been betrothed, he knew the child was not his, but was unaware she was carrying the Son of God. He knew women accused of adultery could be stoned to death, so he resolved to send her away quietly to not expose her to shame or cruelty. However, when an angel came to Joseph in a dream and told him, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Joseph did as the angel told him, and took Mary as his wife. Joseph loved Jesus, and his one concern was for the safety of this child entrusted to him. Since Joseph does not appear in Jesus' public life, at his death, or resurrection, many historians believe Joseph died before Jesus entered the public ministry. According to the Catholic Encyclopedia, the apocryphal date for Joseph's birth is 90 BC in Bethlehem, and the apocryphal date of his death is July 20th AD 18 in Nazareth. Many places and churches all over the world are named after Saint Joseph, including the Spanish form San Jose, which is the most commonly named place in the world. In art, Joseph is typically portrayed as an older man with gray hair and a beard, often balding, and sometimes appearing as a frail and marginal figure next to Mary and Jesus, if not entirely in the background. Saint Joseph is shown with the attributes of a carpenter's square or tools, the infant Jesus, his lily-blossomed staff, two turtle doves, or a spikenard. There is much we still wish we could know about Joseph, exactly where and when he was born, how he spent his days, exactly when and how he died, but scripture has left us with the most important knowledge, who he was, a righteous man. To learn more about St. Joseph, visit catholic.org, and if St. Joseph inspires you, or someone you